Welcome back. Okay, you've probably created a photo book or a calendar using Shutterfly. Have you done it? Absolutely. Oh, I love doing that. But did you know that the largest production lab for the company is right in Fort Mill, South Carolina? Yeah, not only do they churn out millions upon millions of products every year, they also have a really big heart for charity. And they helped us create the WBTV Family's Recipe Cookbook. There's the first one. This was the very first time we saw the WBTV Family Recipes cookbook in real life. You guys made an awesome book! Rolling off the line in the massive printing room at Shutterfly Fort Mill. We have hundreds of people that come to work every single day um, making memories for people. This 300,000 square foot facility is where cards, photo books, and canvas wall hangings are printed. Site director Scott Jones. This would be one side of the page, that's the other side of the page. And production manager Chris Oxendine. I mean, these are the exact same presses that print cards, books, and everything. Showed us all four steps of the process it takes to print a book like this one. Printing the individual pages, cutting, and binding them, creating the cover, and then attaching the cover to the book. They are checked and rechecked to be sure high quality finished products are going out the door here. Okay. It is projects like this, they say, that puts an extra spring in the step of the hundreds of full-time employees here. People love, love working here. It's a really cool environment. It's, it's a real family atmosphere, and um, people having the opportunity to get involved in the community and to do what they do every day and produce something that is going to be shared in the community and, and uh, be involved in charities, local charities, that's very important to us. Printing cookbooks, though, really isn't anything new for this team. Family histories are told through food, and they are preserved in books that are made by Shutterfly. We see photo scan pictures on the pages of people just scan pictures or taking pictures of their grandmother's recipes um, and put them in there to give out and just keep those family heirlooms. So yeah, there's a lot of people converting those old recipes that are in boxes or, or, or drawers in your kitchen and putting them in photo books. Yeah, we see that all the time. And while these amazing team members were careful not to peek inside. They have recognized faces that are on the outside of the book, so that's been pretty cool. And it's had a little buzz on the floor. Pretty amazing, huh? It is so much that goes into all of this. Yeah, I think you've taken us through each step this week, and it is fascinating. We tried because we wanted you to see all the hard work that's been poured into this book. So through their foundation, Shutterfly Fort Mill does many other charitable projects throughout the year. Hundreds of pounds of food donated, mm -hmm. backpacks and school supplies too. And they also did a coat drive to help keep families warm who don't have places to call home. So it's really cool mm -hmm. what they're doing mm -hmm. out there. If you would like your very own copy of the WBTV Family Recipes Cookbook, they are being sold only at Paper Skyscraper and Park Road Books starting November 15th. They cost $30, $25 from each book sold. It's going to be myself. shared between The Bulb, which provides mm -hmm. fresh produce to people living in food deserts, and the Johnson & Wales University Scholarship Fund. Ah. So if you want more information, you can go to wbtv.com slash qclife. Click on the Family Recipes tab. It's also on the homepage there. And if you want to see, as Mary said, sort of that whole process yes. from getting everything together to taking the pictures and testing the recipes and laying out the book and now printing it, it's all right there. Can't wait for you to be able to hold this in your hand.